Greetings, viewers. Natalia here with another commentary for all of you. Allow me to introduce Just Stupid, a small commentator who did a video called Content Nukon. <laughs> Carmen Rider. Boy, I'm gonna have some fun today. On the off chance that Stupid himself comes across this video, no, I am not a fan of Carmen. I've made no secret that I consider her a subpar commentator and irredeemably obnoxious. However, as a commentator, I don't think you necessarily have to like someone to defend them from a bad video on them. And boy, did you fuck up covering an arguably easy target. Care for a death race? You're tugging on the wrong cape. Welcome to Content Nuke, I'm your host JR, and today's target is gonna be a fellow commentator known as Carmen Ryder. Now in case you're not familiar with Carmen Ryder, you might know them by this video. I personally think that Carmen Ryder has not been talked enough about, but today, on this very video that you are watching right now, we are gonna be dissecting her content like little reptilians, and exposing to everyone why she's one of the most disgusting YouTube commentary channels I've ever seen in my life. That oh, trust me. Me. If I thought you did a decent job of going over why Carmen is a poor commentator and a detestable person, I wouldn't be here doing a commentary on you. Leave this place or die. Who are you to command me? Someone with nothing to lose. Things first, we're starting with the content. Her content can be summed up in about four words. Boring, unfunny, repetitive, and completely just cringe. Her insults and jokes are just fucking terrible. And her content is complete ass. Her content isn't interesting or entertaining at all. And she doesn't even put any effort into her videos. Her thumbnails are just fucking terrible. And so is the point she makes against the people she's responding to. Now Subjective. While you may not find value in Carmen's content, she's garnered a large enough audience that clearly does. In regards to her thumbnails, while I can admit she's largely done what I do, i.e. put a whole bunch of PNGs together and hope it looks visually appealing, the thumbnail for her video on Raven Pines is the only one I can identify as having original artwork. The only real negative I can make about it is that Raven never used Mabel in her commentary on Carmen, but uh, that's a nitpick. Not to mention she has to be a lolly supporter. You literally cannot make this up. I have fellow commentators that can back me up on all of this. I wasn't one of those people. I hate to be attached to this nightmare. All that being said, let me show you what I'm actually talking about. Hello again. Carmen Render here. And Virgo here back for another commentary. Okay, what's wrong with the audio quality of Carmen's video here? She sounds like she's using one of those old desktop microphones I used to have before I switched out to a Blue Yeti. Having commented on Carmen last year myself, I know she has better quality than this. So what the hell did you do to her video? Today we're going over another anti lolly Not another Britney Venti. Yep, now before we get into it, let's take a look at the thumbnail of the video. I haven't even clicked on the video and we already have straw manning. Not only are you straw manning, your straw man is wrong. Use a picture of the Reddit logo to straw the people on the opposing side as Reddit users. Yet most subreddits go out of their way to ban lolly content. In fact, you just proved this yourself in your video. But we will get to that in a bit. Anyways, let's get into it. If you think that anime and media created to appeal to otakus provides an accurate depiction of Asian culture and people, honey, you've got a big storm coming. <laughs> You're, You're not, not funny. funny. And this is just one of many clips of her being boring and completely unfunny. Not to mention she just mumbles a lot. It's very unentertaining and completely cringe to watch. Yes. One quit made response to something her target said should certainly be all the evidence your audience needs to agree that Carmen Ryder isn't funny. I can sort of agree that her delivery killed the line though. Deadpan humor can be done properly. It all just depends on delivery. Yeah, well, it's got its strong points, but the hours are long. Oh, and if you're gonna call the example I used cringe, you know the word you just love using throughout the latter half of your video. Then I invite you to consult a dictionary so you can learn its proper definition and usage. And by consult, I mean me chucking one at your head. All your rage is for nothing. Vengeance is everything. 
but your family is lost forever. Welcome back to another Internet Archaeology. So today's video, we're going to be discussing a very interesting topic. The topic of this video is going to be lollies. Please call for help. You're, You're not, not funny. funny. And are you supposed to be anybody? They literally have quality content and actually put effort into their videos. Something you can't do. Unlike them, their content is actually interesting and entertaining and completely funny, unlike you. I initially had the idea to do this video when I retweeted something on Twitter. It was a meme about lollies, but I actually asked people, you know, what are their opinions on it? And maybe should I do a video? And a lot of people were interested in seeing a video on this topic. So, so here I am. If you're new here, Internet Archaeology is basically a chit-chat get ready with me style video where we look at the fossil record of the internet and try and carbon date a few trends. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. Which I'll see so when I first made that post on Twitter, a few people in the comments or the replies or whatever were basically saying what are lollies. So let's begin with actually explaining what are lollies and lollycon. Let's define those two words. Now the exact meaning and definition of these words is as controversial and debated as the actual subject matter itself. But the most commonly agreed upon definition is that lolly is basically an aesthetic or art style typically found within anime related material that is centered around youthful and pubescent girls. This happens in every video. And fucking re-record your lines like a responsible adult. Oh, someone's mad. For the love of God, you cannot be talking. You stutter and mumble so much, I'm pretty sure you are an alien. Okay, I was going to give you. I'm glad she was sort of mumbling her delivery on her line, you're not funny. But for the remainder of the video, Carmen isn't that hard to understand. Although, granted, it just might be me, since I've sort of trained my ears to pick up on my tone voices. But in regards to the stuttering, I haven't been able to pinpoint where she stuttered once in the video so far, so what are you going on about? <laughs> Ready to duel with the devil? Take your shot. Lolly Khan is basically a community on the internet who bears some kind of sexual attraction or fetishization of the lolly art style and lollies. Wait a damn minute. Oh, hi, no one asked. I didn't know you helped with this video. Damn, you really have to be that much of an unoriginal piece of shit and pull the no one asked card out of your ass. You really don't have any valid arguments, do you? You literally pull all this shit and don't even know what it means. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. Your jokes are completely unfunny and you don't have any other shit to say. Even Mushroom Girls commentary videos were better than yours. You're seriously just that much of a fucking retard. You literally make Mushroom Girls content look like Keemstars. No one asked as a YouTuber who made three videos on just a robot during and after the drama she got involved in last year. Not gonna fault you for not knowing that. But then you choose to berate her for talking out of her ass when all she did was make a reference to someone who made videos on JAR for clout. And I'm sure a few of you have already kind of thought to yourself, wait, hold on. Nope, not really. What about you, Virgo? What do you mean? And you even have to use an AI to agree with you. You are the saddest fucking commentator I've ever seen in my life. You clearly don't have any valid arguments and just say dumb shit. As opposed to you, someone adding absolutely nothing to the conversation and instead choosing to attack your target because you don't like the aesthetics of her commentary style instead of whatever point she's making. Oh, did I just point out how your entire interjection here was utterly pointless? Hashtag sorry not sorry. You once brought hope. Now I bring justice. That's enough internet for today. You're not funny. Jesus Christ, you literally have to say the same bullshit over and over again. You this is literally the second time we've seen her repeat the you're not funny quip in her video. Also, you're not one to get on to people for repeating themselves when you keep repeating. Quit roleplaying in your commentary, I don't like it, this is cringe, this is ass. Over and over in your commentary. We've more in common than you'd care to admit. I'm a god, you're a madman. Not mad, differently safe. Oh yo, so there was a poll on one of their NSFW hentai servers. R slash Genshin Impact Hentai. Oh no. You're, You're not, not funny. funny. Also, porn of video games is nothing new, so there's really nothing to be upset about. Congratulations, you have officially made me change gameplay because of how stupid you are. Gonna explain how her point's stupid. Yes, yeah, gonna point out that you're changing game footage. Okay. After this, he covers a video commented on. Oh no. No. No, this cannot be real. The next video he's covering is a video Carmen Wright did on Deviant Crow. Why can't I escape you, bird woman? Hello again. Carmen Ryder here. 
There is no way in living hell that I'm letting this shit slide. Are you seriously telling me you have to roleplay as two characters in one commentary video? Your content is literally complete fucking ass. How do you even do this stupid ass repulsive shit? And honestly, I don't understand how autistic you can get. Fuck, the video's barely started. And already you're whipping out your ass to shit all over Carmen. I doubt that he's got a scat fish, dude. We are here back with another commentary. Today we're going over someone who thinks deplatforming is a good option. Miss Deviant Crow. The video is titled, Hashtag Report Stone Toss. Pretty sure that's against YouTube TOS. It is. Under the harassment and cyberbullying section, it says that one of the ways this rule is broken is by, and I quote, content that encourages abusive fan behavior, such as doxing, dogpiling, brigading, or off the level targeting. Please tell me what the fuck you are doing. Explain how what Crow is suggesting is a bad thing. Though you obviously weren't paying attention. I get it, you gotta hate Bummer for Carmen. But how about you? Oh, I don't know. Actually listen to what's being said instead of bitching about how you don't like how she does commentaries. Just a thought. Pretty sure this video falls under off-platform targeting. Why do I get my fucking monetization taken away over a single edgy joke? But Deviant Pro gets to engage in targeted harassment. Got to laugh at the mail. That's the face of someone who is confidently in crack. Anyways, let's get I'm gonna be very honest here. You gave me a new idea for content. I might do a content nuke on this person next. Please don't. I can't wait to imagine how you'd fuck up covering two easy targets in a row. Numskull called he wants his Lego back. And I definitely was not lying when I said you were unfunny. The jokes you make are completely ass. Set up a counter for the amount of times you say something related to Carmen is ass at the start of this video. Oh well, too late now. Today we're going to be covering Stone Toss, and from the get go, you might think that's a bit weird. Compared to the other people we covered, he's not as bad. Hey, hey, buddy, did you know that the background music you're using kind of keeps going when you cut back to the original video? Yeah, if you're going to use background music for your commentaries. You might want to learn what audio bouncing is, and when to cut off the track you're using. It is wildly distracting otherwise. I want to point out that comic creators like this are barely touched on. I mean, all he does is make edgy comics, so there isn't much to talk about. Also, down there is someone's phone number, you might want to blur that out. Like, my previous ones barely got a video on them, despite their somewhat popularity. And Stone Toss is an incredible example of that because he has over 100,000 followers, and yet rarely has any videos on him, which is a bit concerning considering the stuff he puts out. I mean, who wouldn't love the base to Mogus? Stop, you are completely cringe. You literally make these stupid ass roleplay sessions in the middle of a commentary video. Again, she's responding to what Crow said. It's at this point that I realized that you don't want to give Carmen criticism for anything or point out how she's wrong, but just blindly insult her. So that's why I'm ending it here. There's really nothing else other than you bitching about her thumbnails, throwing more insults at her, and repeating how she defends Lolicon. And I would just be repeating myself if I covered the whole thing. How ironic is it that on the day of love, I cover a video that's really nothing more than one random YouTuber hanging on another YouTuber. This is Night Eye saying thanks for watching and please share your thoughts with me.